Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. So, holiday is coming to an end. We are spending one night in Patong. Uh, place is, you know, a little bit run down. It's a little bit honky tonk. You know, there's just kind of like strip clubs everywhere, but it's kind of cool. Like, it's kind of good crack. Um, so, we are on the way to a really cool gym we found. Gonna get a workout in, and today I also want to go to the gun range. Let's see what we can get up to in Patong. What is going on my friends? So holiday has come to an end. This is actually the final Thailand vlog you'll see getting in one of the last workouts in this super cool gym. You know me, I love the old machines, the rundown, old school vibe. I don't know why, I just think it makes for a better atmosphere and there's not many of this style of gym left out there. But what I want to talk about in this voiceover is a few things. Kind of like my relationship with food, dieting and training in general. Basically, I know lots of people, my past self included, that when they go on holiday or they take time off, they blow out. Their diet goes to shit, they've no motivation to go find a gym and hit the weights and stay on track. In the past, I've gone away and came back completely out of shape, but this is one of the first times that hasn't happened. I put that down to improving my relationship with food and being more flexible with my diet. And I think there is a big difference between flexible dieting and if it fits your macros. I am a proponent of tracking macros, but I'm also a proponent of taking time off to not be so neurotic about your diet. There's nothing flexible about tracking every single gram you eat. I actually tell my clients to just hit their macros as close as they can, but it doesn't matter if you're off by a bit. The main benefit of tracking macros, in my opinion, is you understand what food amounts look like, so in the future you don't actually have to weigh and log your food, you can just eat intuitively. This has really paid off for me on this holiday. As you can see from the veins of my arms and shoulders, I've kept a nice, low, and athletic body fat while having a kick-ass holiday. Remember, above all, this is a lifestyle. It's not something I do for a short amount of time. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you here with this full body workout. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you're liking it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Just a banana protein shake? Yeah. This place is off the chain. Yeah. Let's go. Wow. Look at this guy. Aww. Let's go, please. Are these real? What? What? Give me two different guns. Rob, I'm so scared. Please. Please. Rob. No, how No, how Excite. It's a powerful feeling. Shooting in a saw rod. My turn. Oh, wow. 
Pull the trigger. Let's see how we did. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad. Where's was that was probably that, that my was one. you. That was Office. you. Then I'm around here. I'm pretty happy. All right, guys. So last night, really sad to be going, but at the same time, I'm kind of like. There's a little part of me looking forward to like going home, get back to my office, you know, absolutely smashing January because obviously for everyone in the fitness industry, every personal train right there and stuff like that, January is like, it's like the biggest month of the year. I'm glad that, you know, I kind of got a little break before the madness begins, but like I've got loads of ideas of what I want to do. So like, I'm really pumped to get back to that. Then again, we just heard there's a storm in Ireland, so we're kind of like, ugh. Even at this time in the evening, like it's so nice to just go for um, go for a relaxing stroll. But we're going down for dinner now, our last Thai dinner, and uh, we're gonna get something nice. Well, I wanna get some frozen yogurt afterwards too, because we found a place in two for sort of test frozen yogurt. So uh, I'll show you what we get for dinner. Are you touching my ass? Sorry. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> um, I absolutely love these things. They're called tuk tuks. They're kind of just fun to sit in and they also bring you anywhere you want for a fiver, 200 baht. So yeah, we've been like living off these for uh, the past day or so. One thing I love is going around in these things and I'm kind of just looking at like the Thai culture, just kind of people watching, seeing how they go about things. Like it's really interesting. The beach is so beautiful at this time. It's nice how everyone chills out on the beach, goes for walks even when it's dark. It's a really nice relaxing time. There's always like a debate if you should eat the street food or not. I've been eating the street food the whole time. It has got like chicken breasts on skewers, pineapples, corn, really healthy. Uh, and I feel absolutely fantastic. So you'll hear different opinions. Sarah doesn't eat the street food because she's too picky, which I hate. But uh, yeah, I love it. And street food is definitely lip. I was gonna go for the Pad Thai, but I've gotten it a lot. That's like the national dish of Thailand. I think I might go for this thing. Uh, fried rice, chicken, and pineapple. I love pineapple in my rice and chicken dish. All right, so my dish arrived and it looks insane. It is in a pineapple. I actually wanna make that at home. Just chop pineapple in half, use as a bowl. And then Sarah, you got a rice prawn dish and soy sauce. We're gonna dig into this now. I'm pumped and we're both starving. Let's have a little share as well. Yeah, yeah, cool. That dinner was absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have enjoyed it more. And now we are getting some frozen yogurt because we are addicted to frozen yogurt and we always have to get it after every meal. Like we kind of need, like once you eat something kind of savory, you need some sweet afterwards. So, here we are. Yeah, I'll have a little bit of boss. went all out. That's enough. Yeah. Or actually a little bit of chocolate, yeah. Last night. Not that I ever go healthy on this. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have the that's kind of oat mix there? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> and then some strawberries. All right, so Froyo on the beach. Uh, so we both went for Oreos, then I went for oats and strawberries, and Serge went all out with like Kit Kat and white chocolate. But we're gonna enjoy this now. We absolutely love these. So you can probably see Bangla Road uh, down behind me there. That's basically just the party street. It's just like a road full of like strip bars, nightclubs, stuff like that, and like it's pretty crazy. If you have me on Snapchat, you would have seen when <laughs> when I walked down that road, it was pretty funny. But anyways, right, I'm gonna finish up my Thailand vlogs here. Uh, going home tomorrow, I had such a good time. My favorite part, it was definitely PP Island. Would highly recommend, and uh, Pitong actually didn't turn out to be as bad as I thought. So when I get home, I have a couple of days, and then I'm hitting up LA Fit Expo, and I just cannot wait for that. I'm just so pumped. So Rob Lips, it does America. Catch you next time. Keep it real. I'll see you back in Ireland.